Construction begins only after months and months of work by architects and engineers. Bulldozers, excavators, and other heavy equipment grade the site to remove and add soil to obtain a consistent height of terrain. Then workers will dig down to bedrock to attach the footings for the foundations. Bedrock can be from as little as three feet below the surface to more than a couple hundred feet down. Concrete trucks and pumping trucks pour concrete footings next. These are what the building will stand upon as the footings support the entire structure. Soon equipment will be moved to the work area and the site will be mobilized for construction. Pipes, wire, framing materials, fittings, devices, steel girders, and prefabricated sections will be among the items moved to the site before construction can start. Then the crane will set the steel infrastructure, the building's internal skeleton. The crane will swing I-beams and girders into the place where the workers weld and bolt the individual pieces together. Cranes will also swing materials into the building for electrical, plumbing, HVAC, framing, finish work, and elevators. Meanwhile, exterior components are also lifted into place. As the building gains height, the need for working elevator system, including freight elevators, is extremely important. Functioning restrooms and on-site vending and meal service, including makeshift restaurants, often accompany the building as it rises. Keep in mind, the world's tallest skyscraper in Dubai is 163 floors, or 2,700 feet tall. That's quite a hike just to use the restroom or grab a bite to eat. Finally, the crane will install the exterior of the building, including windows, metal sheeting, and concrete panels and embellishments. The highest tower is often capped with the radio or cell tower as well, which helps to bring better communication services to large cities and add height to the building. The entire structure is completed, the site will be cleaned up, and the remaining equipment demobilized. During cleanup, interior finishes like carpet, cabinetry, drywall, and trim are installed. The crane will be disassembled and removed as well. With landscaping and furnishings, the building will be ready to receive its tenants.